I am Rohan and in this video we will uh, deal with FWL theorem and its meaning mathematical concepts and practical proof so now let's head towards its meaning its full form is Prince Wack theorem and, and it states that the coefficient of one of the variables in multiple linear regression model can be obtained by netting off or reducing the effect of other variables in the regression model from both dependent and independent variables. What does it mean? So now let us take the regression model as y equals to a plus beta b1 x1 plus b2 x2 plus b3 x3 plus e row term. This we call it as 1. And the value of beta 1 can be obtained by netting of the effect of x2 and x3 from y. If we net off the effect of x2 and x3 from y, or if we remove the effect of these two variables from y and <coughs> and and we will also net off the effect of <coughs> these two same variables. Effect of same x2 and x3 from x1. And if we regress the error term from these two equations, then we will get beta 1. So now let's go on further. <clears throat> it means that if we net off the effect of x2 and x3 from y, it means that we will have a new new regression equation that is y equals to a plus b beta 2 x2 plus beta 3 x3 plus b1. b1 is a new error term and we have removed beta 1 x1 from this equation because to because our aim is to net off the effect of x2 and x3 from y. Similarly, we will, we will net off or we will remove the effect of x2 and x3 from x1. So to do, to do this, we will simply regress x1 on x2 and x3. <coughs> and the other impact or the, or the impact of other variables is captured in B2. Following this, now we will regress v1 on v2 and k is the coefficient of v2 and here k hat if we find k hat from here and the k hat will be equal to beta 1 hat it means that <coughs> y equals to a plus b1 x1 plus b2 x2 plus b3 x3 plus e1 this k, this k hat equals to b1 hat. This is the value we have obtained. And, and this is called FWL theorem. So now let's have a practical look. So for it I have opened this data. And I have these four variables y x1 x2 and x3 first of all let's do regression on all on all y x1 x2 and x3 <coughs> so our results are it's x1 means it's the coefficient of x1 it's beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 so let's do the second step we will net of the effect of x2 and x3 from y to do it let's take y x2 and x3 and we will save its error term so we will save it as predict uh, v1 hat comma residual, residual so we'll predict v1 hat and again we will net of the effect of x2 and x3 from x1 
So to do it, we will regress x1 and x2, x1 on x2 and x3. And again, we will predict the error term. Predict v2 hat comma r. So we have predicted both the error terms. And now our final step is to regress v1 on v2. So reg v1 on v2. So, so you can have a look over the coefficient of v2. The coefficient of v2 must be equal to the equal to the coefficient of beta 1. It's 29587.39 and let's have a look. Let's do it again. Regression y x1 x2 and x3 sorry uh, let's have this equation and let's have the final equation of regression v2 so it's minus 2958739 and it's minus 2958739 in x x1 and it's in x2 it's written b2 hat so the coefficient is same it means that what does it mean it means that the the coefficient of x1 is equal to the coefficient of v2 hat it means that beta 1 is equals to k thank you